What's up, Survivor Fanatics? This is KG48, and welcome back to my subsistence Let's Play. Last video, we got a workbench, and we can now make knit, knit, knit nails. It's awesome. I love being able to make nails, along with some other things. It's a pretty handy, handy item. Um, the thing is, we need a lot more scrap metal, and we also need to refine a lot of this ore. We're going to need a lot of iron, too, because I actually want to make more keys, uh, lockpicks, sorry. I actually want to make more lockpicks as well. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be looking for iron, scrap, scrap metal, and, um, you know, whatever other kind of things we can find out there that might be interesting. Uh, you know, we might have to fight some more animals, and I don't know what's going on with the, with the, with the hunters. So I think what we're going to do now is we are going to look into making some armor. Now, there's all different kinds of armor here, and what I'm looking at is pants, okay? The first thing I need to do is cover my junk, um, because that's where the pain comes from, you know? Um, so, I'm looking at pants, and, you know, uh, cordage is whatever, but cloth is the thing that's kind of hard to get. So, that uses four cloth, but this one only uses two more cloth. And I'm thinking medium pants has got to be way better than... Um, although they both say lightweight, but whatever. Um, I'm assuming medium pants have got to be give you better items than light pants. So let's go ahead and make some medium pants. And we're also going to... Should I make the medium shirt? The thing is, I need cloth to also make uh, bandages. Um, I think we're going to make the medium shirt as well. Why not? Let's make some stuff. Um, we're going to have to keep a lookout for more cloth. We can get cloth from either rabbits or... Uh, sh um, I almost said sheep. <laughs> yeah, sheep would be nice, cold games. But um, we're looking for rabbits and also um, wolves. And if we find a bear, we could kill a bear. We killed a bear last episode. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, so that's pretty interesting. All right, so do I have any... Okay, so I got damage protection plus one. Um, I don't really worry about cold tolerance. So we're plus one damage protection. And that's going to give us plus four. We already had a pair of pants on, but that's okay. And this is going to give us up to plus seven. So we went from plus one to plus seven. That's a huge jump. So we should be a little bit more badass now. Um, is there a way to, to go around to the front of your character? I'm not really sure. Guys, if there's a way to like kind of zoom around to the front of your character, please let me know in the comments. Uh, v puts you in a third person mode. So... All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off the stuff I am not going to need. Let's drop off the hammer, uh, the cloth, that stuff. Um, oh, you know what? I actually want to make some nails. Uh, not some... I wanna, yeah, I want to make nails too, but um, we're going to make some arrows because if I see any rabbits, they're getting their... They're, they're self-destroyed because I really, really need... Um, I really, really need to make... Uh, to get more cloth. Um, it's kind of a big deal for me. Alright, where is the feathers? There we go. We got plenty of feathers. Let's go ahead and make a couple things of arrows. Let's put these back. Uh, we won't carry the wood with us. Um, we can tear up the pants. I think you start with them anyway. So we'll tear those into rags. There we go. We got a, got a couple cloth back. That's really nice. And uh, we're looking pretty good here. I think I want to take a couple pieces of cloth and make some bandages. Really, it takes two cloth for one bandage. That's... That's too... Come on, with the cloth. Cloth is really, really tough, guys. I'm going to tell you, man. I'm really going to be looking out for some rabbits. And I might actually uh, kill some wolves as well. Um, I just... I need the cloth. I need the biofuel. What I don't need is the meat. And I don't want it to go bad. That's the only reason I haven't been killing all the animals. Um, I do have quite a bit of bullets. Maybe I don't like 13. 13 is an unlucky number, so let's put another one in there. Um, maybe I will kill a wolf with some bullets. I think that might be a good idea. We don't have a ton of shotgun shells. All right, so there we go, the bandage, and we got four now. Okay. All right, let's get out there and do some looting. Let's do some good, people. Um, let's take a look up here at this thing. I think this is okay. Yeah, that's okay. I'm not going to go too far, but... Um, man, that freaking... A level three bear, seriously? Up in my face? Up in my grill? <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do about this. He's not going to leave. And I don't think I'm going to be able to... Get, eh, maybe he will leave. Yeah, level 3 bear. I, I, I don't want to deal with level 3 bear. He's probably not happy that I killed one of his buddies and then talked a bunch of smack. Let's go over this way. Maybe we can avoid him. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, he is guarding a chest, which is really pissing me off. Alright, let's see if we can get this chest. Uh, I really want to get that lockpick uh, today. I might get I might get enough materials to be able to get the lockpick today. We're just gonna have to wait and see. And oh no 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 no! Stay over there! Stay over there! Ooh, did you see all the scrap iron that was in there? Hell's yeah! Two scrap iron in one box. So they do have. Okay, so I mentioned last video. You guys probably told me in the comments that he took the scrap iron out of the box. That is not the case. 
Um, you guys probably told me in the comments. I'm sorry I jumped to conclusions about that. I was wrong. Cold games. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Thank you for not taking that stuff out of the boxes. He's probably like, Cage, I didn't take those out of the boxes, you dick. You know what? I'm going to take them out of the boxes now just because you say I did. So I could, I could have messed it up for everybody. And that was a lot of nails, dude. All right. Uh, let's grab some of this stuff. We are going to need a lot of cordage. There we go. We got that. All right. It's looking good. Looking good. We got to keep an ear out for growling growling wolves and such because uh man like when i play other games i don't really have to listen as closely as i do in this game so when i come into this game i kind of like i don't pay as much of attention as i should and um it hasn't bit me in the butt yet but it's coming <laughs> it's coming all right so we got something over here let's go ahead and grab this really quick oh boy there's a wolf i might kill that wolf and animals freaking everywhere all right, stay away from me, Wolf, because I will blast you. I I want to use the pistol, but at the same time, I kind of want to save the pistol for the hunters. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to ask you guys. All you guys who are like super pro at this game, um, since you need since you need Sinu now to get grenades to break into the hunter's base, base. Number one, is grenades still the only way to get into the hunter's base? I I remember being able to axe the door, but it took like a freaking year. Um, is, is breaking down the door with an axe still viable? Let me know. Because I, I kind of want to smack the hunters down. The only thing that was, the only thing that was keeping me away from the hunters was because I didn't want to mess with them because I didn't want them raiding me. And the little, I didn't even do anything to them. And the punk ass sons of beeswax piece of, you know what, uh, it came and freaking hunt, uh, and, and raided me anyway. And I gotta tell you, man, I'm kind of pissed off about that. You know? So, um, screw them. And, uh, if I hear that I, it's possible for me to chop down their doors with an axe, then I'm going after them. And, guys, please don't tell me unless you're sure. Please don't troll me. Um, because if I go in there and kill them and I can't chop down the doors, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to cry. Maybe that would be your goal. But, well, that would just be a mean thing to do. Alright, so we got a rabbit over here. I am going to chase him down. I'm not chasing him down. I'm going to follow him. Wait until he stops running. Oh, man, they run forever. Oh, my God. He's he's off to the races. Never mind. He's not that far. All right. Looking good. Still got it. Oh, man. I'm getting scrap iron for days here, man. Thank you very much. I think Cold Games has something to do with this. Thank you very much, Cold Games. That is um, that is really, really helpful. <laughs> I know Cold Games has nothing to do with it. I'm just kidding. All right, I don't need the chicken. We got a wolf and a bear over there that I would I could do without. But there's also some chests over here, so that is a problem. Okay, please don't walk this way. That wolf is getting dangerously close. This might be too close. Nope, nope, wow, okay. I remember when I used to play this game like a year ago. I thought that wolf would have ran at me by then. Like, I wonder if he... Kind of, you know, turn, tuned him down a little bit a while ago or something. Because, I don't know, I remember, like, them jumping on me. Or maybe I just wasn't paying attention when I first started playing. Alright, so we got a chest over here. I want to keep a lookout for more nodes. Um, nodes are one thing I do not spot anywhere near enough, you know. Cool, we got some bandages. That's really going to help. Getting bandages is just as good as getting cloth. Because that's one less piece of cloth you have to use for bandages. And I am getting so much scrap iron today. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. By the way, this is where I was... This is around the area that I was... Um, I built like a couple seasons ago. Is that... Oh, that's cordage. Let's hope it was sinew. I don't think you get sinew in regular containers though. Anyway, this is around the area. This is my old stomping grounds. This is where, you know, my last big Let's Play. Like I went 30-something episodes. And this is where I, this is around the area where I built. I built up there. And uh, this is a really, really excellent area for farming. Always has been. Shh, I'm hunting wabbit. Okay, stop. There you go. Oh, right in the neck. How did you live through that? Oh my, you poor guy. I should just pick him up and snap his neck right on the spot. That is just awful. Just awful. Probably should have killed that wolf. He's all by himself. Easy kill. I could definitely use the meat. But, uh, I don't know. I'm going to kind of 
keep looking around. I'm, I'm having a good time here with the chests. I am, uh, my luck, ooh, that is a really good looking piece of scenery right there. My luck has been, has been with me today, uh, which is really nice. So, you know, I don't really want to go home just yet. Another arrow, that is wonderful. Let's come out and look at this, man. This is, this is gorgeous. I don't use that word a lot because I'm a man, but this is just, wow. Wow. This is just a beautiful area. Holy cow. Oh, just, mm. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I don't even want to leave the area. Wow. All right. Well, I guess I have to because we're still we're still supposed to be gathering supplies. You know, survival and stuff. Um, one piece of beautiful scenery, and I'm freaking lost. Right. <laughs> oh man. Let's uh let's head back this way. A lot of times it's good to backtrack. I find a lot of times that when you backtrack, you find a lot of stuff. Almost like the stuff is spawning behind you, kind of. Um, I don't really know if that's the case, but kind of the feeling I get sometimes. I really should be looking at the rocks for ores. That's what I that's what I really need to pay attention to. I just I never pay attention to the to the ores. Like sometimes I'll see them, but I'm never really really looking for them or not often anyways. Every once in a while I'll be looking for them. Like right now that I'm talking about it. Oh. All right. I just got to keep an eye on this guy and wait for him to stop. He's already stopped. Beautiful. Nice. I am a rabbit hunting machine. Whoo! I'm gonna I'm gonna bring them to extinction. Just me alone. You know? Sorry about that, but I need cloth. You know? We should be able to um make make maybe make like a loom or something and make our own cloth. Maybe out of um cordage or something. I don't know. Or out of plant fiber. I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, oh ho 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Kind of scared me. I got really scared earlier today. Oh, yeah. I was recording Seven Days to Die. And I was driving around on my mini bike and something happened. I don't remember what it was. But I just kind of got really scared. And I flipped my mouse around like this. And it was like, oh, my God. I wasn't recording or anything either. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But uh, it just scared me. I was just Sometimes I'm just on edge. And the littlest things can just freak me out. Okay, is that a lock chest? It is, of course it is. Darn it. Man, I really gotta get that lock pick made. Actually, let's start heading home. I think we wanna make a lock pick today. I'm not gonna come back and get that chest, but still, I think we should get a lock pick while we're thinking about it. Alright, rabbit. Are you leading me into an animal? Please don't. No, don't run again. Don't run again. Damn it, I got too close. Couldn't help it. It's coming over a hill. All right, where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh, man. Even when I don't aim at them, I'm just taking quick shots. I'm nailing these guys. Woo! Watch out, rabbits. I got your number. All right, we should probably kill this wolf. Since we're on our way home anyway. Okay. Seven and eight. Okay. Come on, I'm right here. <laughs> Dumbass. It's a problem, bro. I'm not good enough for you to try and kill. Is that it? We gotta be careful though. This is uh we're not near the hunters, but we're near enough to worry me. Get more cloth. I think the hunters are right over there somewhere. We could go this way, but that might bring us next to the hunters. I kinda wanna go up there, but I just saw a bear up there, so. I think we're going to go this way, but we got to be careful. I do see my base from here, but the hunter base... Yeah, this is not the way to go. This is really not the way to go. I can see a hunter right there. No, that's a dog. Never mind. Where? Where's their base? I thought I, thought I should see it from here. Hmm. Is it over there more? Oh, yeah. There's their fire. Okay, I guess it's over there more. Good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna take it to him. One of you guys, let me know in the comments, man. Should I be raiding the hunters? I can't make grenades. I probably won't be making grenades for a while. From what I understand, even if I could kill cougars, they're pretty rare. And it's I don't think I'm, like I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of sinew from like one, you know, cougar. So I don't think there's gonna be any grenades in my game for a while. Should I raid hunters? Is it worth it? Someone told me in the comments somewhat recently 
that, and it sounded pretty unfair. Hunters are pretty packed with equipment when they want to kill you, but when you go to raid them, he said that they don't have a lot of stuff, which is kind of cheating, you know? You can't give the hunters grenades and guns and all this fancy equipment, and then when you go to, like, when you go to loot them or their, you know, base, there's nothing there. That's not fair. Now, that's not the way it was for me. I've raided hunters quite a bit in the past um, when grenades were more easily obtainable. And um, I never had any problems with hunters. Uh, should I kill this bear? I really don't need the meat. All right. Anyway, um, he, he might be a problem. I might have to kill him eventually. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I've raided hunters before, and they had... They had decent loot. It was definitely worth it. But this one dude in the comments said that uh, that's changed and the loot is not worth it anymore. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, we did not get any wood. It's stupid, but that's okay. We have enough wood for the night. Alright, that's looking good. Oh my god, we need more chests. Crap. Well, um... Oh, we're not going to get any electricity for a lockpick when we got this freaking thing going. Ah, damn. I didn't think about that. Oh, well. <sighs> I guess the lockpick isn't, like, not getting the lockpick right now is not the end of the world. We really need this thing to keep continue. So, um, why don't we go ahead and do some, why don't we go ahead and do some more zinc? I don't have a lot of zinc, unfortunately. Yeah, this thing needs to keep going. Oh, that sucks. That means I'm not going to get any lockpicks for a while. Gosh darn it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make another, uh, chest. Uh, we just need some planks. Uh, we have a decent amount of planks, but that's not going to be the case for too much longer. I'm going to have to chop some wood. You guys might have to sit with me um, on it. All right, so did I only get one piece of meat from that animal? Uh, all right, um, well, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's butcher a couple of rabbits. There we go. All right, then we'll just throw this in there. Alright, and then we got another chest. Uh, where should we put this? Uh, I guess right here is good. Uh, what should we put in this chest? Okay, let's start organizing our chests a little bit. This is food. The problem is our food chest because we have so many dead chickens in here. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a problem. Um, we should have a bullet chest, right? A bullet, this stuff, gun parts... Maybe a weapons chest? I don't see any more weapons, though. Right, I'm just going to put all my bullets over here. I won't organize them right now. I'll do that later. I'm just going to kind of throw them in there. Take out a little bit more for the pistol. And put this stuff in there. That's looking good. Um, this is going to be for food, so we don't need this or this. Um, or this. Or really this, either. Throw some more rabbits in there. Any more food? Uh, we got that. Actually, you know what? We should, uh, split a couple of these. Four. Yeah, I think we're going to eat four of these. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna go get some water. And we're also going to... Do we have the ash on us? Yes, we do. All right, we're going to bring some ash up here. We're going to take care of our farm. Or our plant bed. It's not really a farm. Take care of our plant bed up here. And you really do need a lot of ash, man. People told me you need a lot of ash. They were not kidding. Alright, so we need a little bit more ash. So that's good. Um, I do want the ash to stay close to the fire, so let's put it in here. And we just lost power. Should we feed power into this thing uh, via the generator? Even though it's under 500 power. Uh, I think we have a good amount of biofuel. God, that almost burnt. That almost burnt. Oof. I think we got a good amount of biofuel here. How much biofuel we got? 75? Mm. It's not a lot, but it's it's a decent amount. I think we're going to run this thing. Keep that power up. I don't even normally do that, but um, I think I will run it for a little while. Why don't we go ahead and fill up these canteens with water? That freaking bear, man! I really don't need his meat. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go bad, and I really don't want to kill something and have its meat go bad. What a douche. I hate that for Oh, God! Really? Really? Well, I guess it is a, I guess it is a drinking area. 
I mean, it only makes uh, logical sense that animals would come to this thing. What was that? Was that something? Yeah, that is. That's the, um, that noise you're hearing is the hunters building their stupid, stupid base. I hate them and their stupid, stupid base. Alright, so we got some water. That's good. Alright, I think today's a pretty fruitful day, man. We got a lot of stuff. How much... We're walking away with, what, only 11? No. Only 11 scrap iron. Seriously. I felt like I got more than 11. Well, oh, this... What's with these damn bears? Now go screw. Punk-ass freaking bear. Really? Only 11? I can't believe that. Well, it is what it is. 36 is no small feat. We also got a ton of nails, which is really nice. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up, we're gonna go upstairs and fill this bad boy with water, so we don't have to worry about it again for the night. I think it'll take two, right? It puts twenty-two percent, so two more. There we go. And um, th this um plant bed is so great, even without the grow light. I really love the plant bed, really, really love the plant bed. So that is just wonderful. All right, so what do we got in here? Okay, so we got that. We can put that in the generator. There's nothing in there. That's fine. Let's take this. Let's put that in oop, that in there. Um, keep the water with the food, right? I guess so. I don't see why not. Uh, water with the food. That's technically kelp is kind of food, but I'm not gonna think of it as food. Basically, just I don't have a lot of food. I don't have a lot of room in my food chest. Uh, why don't we go ahead and make some more cordage. It's starting to get dark. Perfect timing. Uh, put that in there. This should go in the food chest, right? The, the seeds? Nah, we're going to keep the seeds in here. Um, these gun parts will definitely go in the gun chest. Good. Very nice. And then the rest of the stuff goes in here, I think. Yeah, uh, I'm going to put one more in the generator. One more thing of biofuel in the generator. See how the uh, generator's gone? See, even with the generator, I mean, you know, with the generator running, I might be able to get the power up far enough. You know, since I don't need nails, this is what we're going to do. We're going to turn off the generator. Oh, this thing's off. Did I leave that off? That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. No, you know what happened is when the power went off, this thing never kicked back on. All right, I'm going to leave the generator off until this hits 500. I'm going to spend the power on a lockpick, and then I'm going to start this. I'm going to start this thing back up again. Alright, so let's drop all this in here. This thing's getting kind of full. Um, probably have to make another chest for something. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to organize the chest. We'll see. I'll think about that later. We do not have a lot of ash. I can't believe how much ash you go through. It's kind of weird. Like, you know, I never had a plant bed up that early, I guess. So, well, guys, I don't really have much more to do now. Um, this is a little bit early of a video to call, but um, it is what it is. We got some clothes. We're now more... Um, more defensive, uh, defensively proficient, I guess is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> We've got better defense. How about that? We got a couple of stupid bears out here. Although when I log off and log back on, they'll probably be gone. And, uh, we also have got a ton of food. We're doing good on that. Food is not a problem. We're good with food. I think what we need to worry about is just, um, expanding the base. And I'm going to look forward to your comments about the hunters and if I should raid them or not, or try. So anyway, guys, I'm going to call this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.